Why did the chicken go to the seance? Why? Well, to get to the other side. Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Rex of Corp. I'm Rick. As we all knew, the, aliens' favorite place is the United States. A truly astonishing day where we have a house session openly talking about the existence of UFOs and extraterrestrials and having non-biological life forms and everything else. And just it was another day in the news cycle and everything else. Well, we've been through everything. So, and Incredible. also people already just assumed that they were real. Yeah. So, like it's like yeah. Yeah, we know we, that. We kind of figured. We've known we've known you've been doing that for decades, so thanks for finally also telling us the truth. The universe is infinite. It's kind of big. So, it'd yeah. be actually more illogical to assume that we yeah. are alone. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, in terms of like the probability, how improbable that is. Yeah. That we out of the Corchillion, Corbillion, Gordillion, whatever the number is of galaxies, planets out there, and how old. Transcends comprehension. It, it's like impossible. That it transcends. We're the only ones. Yeah. Like, it, it's like possible that we, like, there's actually only a few. <laughs> there's You're more than likely billions. There's probably infinite amounts of different kinds of life forms kind of that we've yet to f discover. It's yeah. kind of insane. It's pretty cool. Anyways, but this is a big video how India has created a $11 billion cricket empire. Ah, I know how they did it. They played simply the played the game. Yes. Yeah. They, they played uh, the game and fell in love with it. <laughs> there you go. Don't need to watch the video. Yes. That's, that's the explanation. Although, this is going to be interesting because uh, while uh, we know diddly squat, I have talked to folks that have very strong opinions mm -hmm. about good things that have happened in Indian cricket uh -huh. and bad things that have had happened. And some people who, for example, love IPL some people who detest IPL. Why? I, you're talking to the person who doesn't really understand all the ins and outs of it. Anyways, here we go. Everything you think you know about cricket. Welcome to the Vivo Indian Premier League. Oh, wow. I still know exactly what I knew before. Oh, This is the Indian Premier League. It's the fastest growing sports league in the world, ahead of the NFL, the NBA, MLB, the Falcons. and English Premier League. And that was Otani, future Each Dodger. The game is worth $2 million, but a single IPL game is worth more than $15 million. They they, he's off the trading block. Oh, that's... Yeah, there was no way the, the, no way the Angels were going to trade him. ...cricket phenomenon that runs for two months with 10 franchises... 74 matches and more than 500 million viewers and unlike the That's other the big sports Falcons. leagues like the nfl nba and formula one they probably knew they wouldn't get caught using the IPL emblem only started <laughs> <Probably>. in 2008 <laughs> yeah. so how did india build this juggernaut back in 2007 cricket had diehard fans but attracting new viewers and investment cricket still has diehard fans the traditional heritage Look on. of cricket test cricket took five whole days per match. That's a and long even time. the shorter version, the one day international, lasted seven to eight hours. But in 2003, England introduced a fast paced version of cricket called T20. In T20 cricket, each match takes about two and a half hours, similar to the time span of other popular team sports, and it became an instant hit. That's very, very after India won the 2007 International T20 World Cup, Lalit Modi, the vice president of the Board for the Control of Cricket in India, saw an opportunity to kill a few birds with one stone. See, Modi had a few problems. The new upstart Is he any relation Indian to the PM? Cricket League threatened BCCI's authority and started poaching big players. It needed to be crushed. Modi had also seen the success of huge franchise models in the US and wondered why they didn't have a similar money-making cricket franchise, especially in India, where cricket is more like a religion than a sport. So Modi pulled the trigger, and in 2008, the Indian Premier League was founded, a T20 cricket league with eight teams that would be played over just two fast-paced months. 
new teams were created to play in a franchise format and auctioned off to new owners on January 24th, 2000, <laughs> a total of $724 million, with each team based in a different Indian city. It wasn't just a shorter format that the IPL committed to. The organizers went all in on entertainment. They made it into a spectacle, and the old-fashioned traditionalists find this abhorrent. To them, that's not cricket. Cricket is theater, where, you know, you have intellectual discussions as to where the ball is played and so on and so forth. Here they said, no, no, you don't need all that. You want entertainment. You want to rival what the cinema offers you, what any other form of entertainment offers you. This sure. translated into instant success. In their first season, the league garnered almost 1.2 billion viewers and made it's almost every Indian million dollars in revenue. This was a more than 20x increase in viewership. Historically, the old format of cricket had struggled to get 50 million viewers become something which is is more sold as a product has more things going on for for the viewer when they come to the ground oh and remember the indian cricket league it closed after 2008 modi won there is one simple reason that the ipl is a money-making machine audience the ipl promises even more entertainment even more action and even more excitement india has a population of 1.4 billion that will soon overtake china for the largest in the world already did it's one of the fastest growing middle classes that means lots of eyeballs and lots of potential ad revenue and young people as well 80 percent of the money that the india is IPO going to be comes from central revenues for decades to come yeah. the leader the in asia yeah that includes league-wide sponsorship china like the one with you heard about and well, yeah. the league's central Sorry. media rights agreement with broadcasters like star india in 2022, those rights were sold for over $6 billion. $3 billion came from Disney-owned Star India for TV rights, and another $3 billion came from Viacom 18 for streaming rights. Split across just 74 matches... There's an NFL team that just sold for $6 billion, dollars. just one team. And as views rise, the BCCI can charge more and more to the broadcasters, who will make more on their side from increased ad sales and subscriptions from a bigger audience. That's why the IPL is such a big deal. It combines an exciting format of a popular sport in a country that has an exploding population. And it's not just India. In 2020, the IPL began broadcasting to more than 120 countries, including the United States, United Kingdom, and South Africa. This also means that the franchises make a lot of money. BCCI keeps only 50% from the media rights deal. The other 50% is split between just 10 franchises. Oh, wow. An average just IPL 10. match averages 30,000 people in attendance. This allows ticket sales to account for Seems as much like as 50% be of each team's revenue. Rounding out each team's revenue pie chart are individual team sponsorships, merchandise, mm -hmm. and prize money. Bats, bales, headgear, and team kits. Everything is sponsored with some franchises like the Chennai Super Kings making a lot more from sponsors because they have a bigger fan base. There's a powerful virtuous cycle here. By playing the most exciting format and garnering the largest audiences, the IPL makes the most money, which means they attract the best players. Superstar Virat Kohli's salary and winnings for 2019 were just $4 million as he played for the Royal Challengers of Bangalore. But his IPL stardom allowed him to bank an extra $21 million through endorsements. This led the IPL to bring in international stars like A.B. De Villers, David Warner, and Chris Gale to join up. But all these factors and the big money led to tensions. Test cricket was traditionally more respected than T20 cricket. The classic cricket format was the ultimate about. test of a player over five days. But IPL money was turning heads. In 2007, only half of players said they'd still reject a national contract to play T20 cricket. And as the IPL drew more viewers, players, and broadcasters, real discussions began about whether test cricket would be reduced to just a few big countries. It seemed like the IPL was gonna crush everything in its way. Even when COVID hit, despite stadiums losing out on ticket revenue, there were still millions and millions of TV viewers. The franchise values doubled in 2020. And the success of the T20 League in India got people hungry for more. IPL franchise owners are now looking to buy T20 cricket franchises in other countries like South Africa and Canada to replicate clearly, the IPL's success. Leagues had started in the Caribbean, Australia, Pakistan, and other countries. 
it also arrived in the u s. as major league cricket the growth of the indian premier league has been insane in two thousand and nine, one year after its founding the average ipl franchise was valued at sixty seven million dollars fourteen years later, the value of those franchises has exploded to more than one point one nice. billion dollars that's an annualized growth rate of twenty four percent gee whiz wow over the past thirteen years the growth rate of nba teams has been sixteen percent and nfl teams has been ten percent and the ipl isn't slowing down who knows if those leagues outside of India will be successful, but you can feel confident the IPL will continue to grow in popularity and the nation of India will also continue to succeed. Check out our past video breaking down why the nation of India is poised to win the 21st century. Great video. Uh, informative. Um, it's, it's just, you know, I think we've seen a, a couple of other videos kind of explaining similar things, right? Um, but it's just, it's a smart, even though I know there's probably cricket purists out there that just yeah. like there's baseball purists in right. terms of they don't that don't like the changes they don't like the changes of people wanting the game to be faster and more entertaining because obviously that's not how it originally was and mm -hmm. it's understandable. But also there's something we said: the average viewer wants stuff happening and they want it in a short time frame so they can yeah. enjoy it. Yeah, because pe people don't have in today's where everything is a billion dollars to like you go outside and you spend a hundred dollars they need it quick because they got they got families they got right they got work they, yeah. they can't be there for the three days right that it requires for the traditional cricket style so they like every other sports league takes two to three hours usually to to play yeah um and so i'll be in the nfl format which is probably the most profitable in terms of each um um each uh, team making a ton of money in in the world even more than soccer just because there's so many there's so many soccer leagues and, and everything like that but in terms of just what the owners make in in nfl i mm -hmm. think it's probably i believe the most in the world yeah and i'd be interested to see the other video about why india will win the 21st century because one of the reasons it's going to win the 21st century is because it's not just population growth, yeah. it's demographics. And age, yeah, yeah. I, India is so young. I just read an article this morning about how Japan's population went mm. down 800,000 this past year. Yeah. And their population, like China, different reasons, is aging and they're going to soon reach a place where they have more people not working than those people working. It's worse for China, yeah. partly because of their one child policy that yeah. they did for years. Yeah. China, China's future is very, very bad yeah. in terms of the workforce and retirement age and the population that's following, whereas India is poised to become just the sky's the limit for India. Yeah. Um, so it's, yeah, it's super interesting. Uh, and I hope that the league, because uh, uh, we wanted to go to some of the games while they were here. We did, also, yeah. That's, that's like going from Mumbai to Kolkata. Uh, where they're playing in Texas yeah, <laughs> from where we yeah. are. So it's not like we could just drive over there real quick like we did for Comic-Con. In addition to the fact that we don't really want to give a lot of revenue to Texas. No. Uh, a, so... I did uh, that for plenty was, of years. Yeah. It, the, the you know, uh, I, I understand. They have to grow it. Um, they have to justify a fan base. It would suck to start off your league and be paying all the teams to travel around the United States and you only get 2,000 people to fill a 40,000 stadium. Also, so, why aren't the stadiums uh, bigger? Like 30,000? That doesn't seem like a lot for as popular yeah. and as many people are in India. You'd think you'd have like eighty to 100,000. You would, but my suspicion is be, be they want to um, they want to keep it intimate. Mm. Like an NBA game. Even baseball, baseball is still pretty intimate, but depending on where you're sitting. But India is not intimate. No, I'm talking about it. Yeah, you, I thought you were talking about the stadiums yeah. here. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. No, How big was the stadium in Mumbai that we went to? It felt like it was big. Yeah, but like the the one that they should, and I know they probably have bigger ones, but they said thirty thousand. Most NFL stadiums are sixty to ninety thousand. Yeah, and is there anyone other? Because I know Dallas can hold a hundred. Yeah, it could, uh, yeah. Uh, well, that. I think LA, can LA's new stadium hold that? I think, I think it, can. it can. Yeah, I think Atlanta's can because most baseball stadiums are between 
40 and 50,000 yeah. max any, any max of the newer ones probably yeah uh because also that's one of the things like if they're building a new stadium they want to play concerts there they want to play yeah. their sports there they yeah. want the, the world cup to be there they, so it's like this whole new thing anytime they build a stadium they want this they want the super bowl to be it'll there. be interesting to see what happened here in in this first year of major league cricket in america and how many Diehard cricket fans are going to travel to Texas. I obviously, I think the end game is going to be they want a full league, and people are going to travel city to city. As, I mean, teams will travel city to city, but it's a, yeah. That that was I remember that was the thing. The purists don't like IPL. Yeah, and they said that part of the grandeur of the game, among many things, is the fact that it's it's not a sprint; it's a marathon, and that plays into like a seven game series for the World Series. It's not a best of three. There's a reason. It's because if you can endure that long and handle the stress for that many days in a row, it adds a new level of but what also, it means to be a champion. They changed the wild card for. MLB. They sure did. It's just one game. They sure did. <laughs> so, like, and they shortened they shortened the the other seasons as well. And the new rules that a lot of people, yours truly included, I wasn't really too hip to the to the, to the pitch clock idea, um, but it works. Yeah, and I'm, they tested it out the right way in the minors first. So, but the. I get the purists because obviously you don't yeah. want the game to change. You want it to stay the same, but also your game needs to evolve or it's going to die. That's just how it is. And if people aren't watching, your sport is going to die. And just like every sport that I'm aware of evolved. I mean, if you look at the origin of any sport, whether it's basketball, football, baseball, golf, cricket, rugby, Australian rules football, they aren't what they were when they started. They they just evolve and change with the times. NFL so, is definitely not. Yeah. Uh, was <laughs> so yep. many new rules, which are not always good. I'm yeah. not saying all changes. Yeah, not all changes are good. Uh, that's why they've gone back on certain things, and they still need to change some things. And, yeah, constantly uh, growing. But anyways, uh, if you have any thoughts about this, obviously you'll have more thoughts than <laughs> yeah. we do. Please let us know what those are down below. Just. <laughs>